know, as everybody knows, I'm the TMZ bounty hunter. I'm the guy that sent this shit into TMZ. Yeah, I know what the video was about. I don't, I don't know what was said. I know because I'm the one to send it. Anyway. I've been sitting there watching this shit. Watching all these little videos. About Selena Powell this and Selena Powell that. So let me tell y'all what really went down that night. December 29th, 2018. The Hubbly Bubbly Hookah Lounge. Aurora, Colorado. Get a call from the bondsman. Selena's supposed to be at her little party or whatever. So we all get over there about nine. About nine. Uh, bondsman and everybody else been over there forever. So this bitch says she's going to be there at 10 o'clock. Bitch was late for her own party. So they pull up in her little black car or whatever. It's her, Paradise, and some other people. They pull up, they get out, Paradise runs into the bathroom, I guess. And uh, so we took that moment to jump on girl and, and go ahead and get Selena out the car, put her in cuffs. So I, I watched the video of uh, her explaining how she got arrested and the bitch lied through the whole video. She really did. She thinks Paradise set her up and Paradise like and never set her up. We just made it look that way. She's trying to say she was in fight mode. She wasn't in fight mode. She didn't start fighting. She's trying to say somebody ran up and snatched her by her hair. Nobody snatched her by her hair. Then she went and said that we stole her phones when we never stole her phones. Because she's worried about videos and, and pictures. Well, if you wouldn't put yourself out there as the biggest hood rat in Colorado, all you got to do is be famous and you'll sleep with them. I'm pretty sure your mother is proud of you now. It's going to suck when you get pregnant, though, because uh, you ain't going to know who your baby daddy is. We know it ain't going to be Offset. <laughs> Nor is it Snoop Dogg or Waka Flocka or Aaron Carter. By the way, Aaron Carter's new chick is bad. Surpassing Selena like a motherfucker. Anyway, Selena, you're an idiot. You really are. Um, I wanted to thank you for the exposure. I appreciate that. I'm sure I'll do it again if I get the chance. Just make sure you go to court. Otherwise, you're going to see me in the goon squad again. you really getting on my nerves with that shit. All I got to say is, Selena, get a life. Do something better with yourself. Stop being a rat. Academics, AK, whatever the fuck they want to call you. You're a genius, too. You really are. After all the dirt this bitch has done to you, you still on Instagram and YouTube and everywhere else. Falling for this bitch. Like, for real, bro. You're stupid. Soldier Boy, he he, <laughs> he be clowning the shit out of you. Even though I think Soldier Boy is closetly gay. Wearing that fucking stupid-ass Gucci headband. Makes him look like he's in a goddamn workout. But uh, I seen a little video of Solo Lucci grabbing Selena. And, uh... She liked that shit. She she on Instagram talking about fucking a dude with some other bitches. Fucking the same nigga the other bitches is fucking. Wait until one of the bitches get burned. Then you all gonna enjoy that shit. <laughs> all the way. By the way, it's Solo Lucci. Hey, does Selena really smell like burning dicks, bruh? If so, has your dick fell off? Has it? I hope not. I really do, because you're going to fuck around and catch some shit that even you can't get rid of. And, and by the way, Solo, just to let you know, you made a comment on live, the biggest dick in the rap game. That's your fucking ego, homie. That really is. That, that's your ego, dog. Because, uh, yeah, anyway. But, hey, man, I ain't hating on you, dog. You, you... Famous as a motherfucker, being on Love and Hip Hop and all that shit. That's good. I'm glad you're famous. 
And now you're going to be famous in a bad way, bro. Because now everybody finna clown on you. You just tasted every motherfucker in Colorado, New York, and California, and whatever other state she's been spreading her legs. <laughs> your lips and your tongue about to fall off, homie. <laughs> For real, yo. Drake texts you. So I'm not, that's cool. I'm glad Drake texts you. I got some famous people on my phone too, but I don't fuck around and expose that I know them. That's not nobody business. You out there putting yourself out there as a hood rat, yo. Like, you're the queen of all rats. You really are. If you get pregnant, for real, I'm afraid to ask how many different baby daddies you might have. Like, for real. Oh, oh. And I wanted to let you know, the night that we was walking you into uh, the Aurora Police Station, you stank, all right? When you sat down, you stank even more. Bitch, you smelled like burning dicks. That should tell you something. <laughs>